Hello everyone, I'm Steve Warzala alongside five-time Man Cup champion and lacrosse guru Brian Shanahan. It's great to have you with us. T.O. needs a win today, Brian. Well, desperate time for the defending champs, and that's what Toronto is right now. With that, let's take a look at our Warrior.com player profile. Number 19 for Chicago, Kevin Lavelle. They started without a shanty. Steve Warzala, Brian Shanahan back in the booth. The first goal that came goes to Toronto. Gavin Pratt, let's take a look at it. Four-man advantage, Toronto yet to score on the man up tonight. Grant, looking around. Huntley, back to Grant, fakes the pass. Quick shot, unloaded, and Petit makes it again. Well, I think they got to take that one out of their repertoire. The outside shots are not fine in the back of the net on uh, Petit. Craig Point took the shot, and it's cleared. Here goes Woodson. He's got Flash and speed. dash before. Oh, does he ever have great speed? Strebel had the sixth goal of the game back to Woodson. Woodson stutter steps to his left, gets through two checks, doesn't shoot, rolls to his right, shot upstairs! As he rips that one, top shelf and a flag after the play. Slings it behind the net for Lavelle. Mike Lavelle comes out to his left. Stick handling, moves the ball to Strebel. Strebel over the middle. Steps up, doesn't shoot. Back behind the two-point line. Dishes for Lavelle. In front, Rotelli. Mike Lavelle down low. Save made in front by Queener. Huge well, save ball. by Brett Queener there. Yeah, great ball. Down low to take away the five hole. Grant fights off the defense of Driscoll. Grant behind the pack pass again. Huntley in front. Huntley turns. Behind the back and score! A bounce off the turn from Huntley, and they cut the lead back to one. Outside Rockwell Hall here on this winter eve, and it's a pretty night indeed outside. We set inside here to Buff State. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Warzala alongside former LA King and Plattsburgh standout Chris Panic. It's great to have you with us. Well, Canisius comes off a split last weekend against Bentley, and for Army, they are winless in three games dating back to December 5th when they played Sacred Heart. But tonight, Chris, it's going to be a big weekend for both teams. One way to do that is both these clubs will look to their big guns. And let's start with Canisius and Atlantic Hockey's top score in Corey Conacher. For Army, although they've lost three straight or haven't won in three games, they have a juggernaut of their own, and that's Atlantic Hockey's second leading scorer in Cody Amalusa. Back in November, Army defeated Canisius in the two-game series. Canisius looking for some revenge this time around. A great Atlantic Hockey contest. When we come back, don't go anywhere. This game is not on Fios, not on the dish, and never on satellite, only on Time Warner Cable Sportsnet. Zook looking up ice, still with the puck, working it through center, taps it over, off the skate of Conacher, he'll drop it down off his stick to Kostic. Conacher again back to the point, bouncing puck, Zook holds it in, flies at the half wall to Kostic. Conacher up to the point for Zook, they start sliding around, Zook at the point, one-timer, SCORE! Conacher unloads, buries one! Upstairs where Mama puts the kids to bed and the grips are on the board first, one nothing. Holds it in, poked away from him. Held in by Musso, down low all the way around. Cure holds it into the backhand. That one's given away. Here's Paul Zanette down the left wing side. Winds up, rips one. Shrugged off by Zapolsky. Right back down the left wing side to Musso. Sends that one in. Campbell will leave it behind the net. Taken by Chartrain for Niagara. Chartrain got his skates taken out. It's falling over. Was Elliott right back in? Elliott steps up, score! Derek Elliott, stick handle in front. And it's 3-2 Mercyhurst. And Howard John Boyer, who's second in the Mid-American Conference in assists, averaging 5.6 a game. Leading team in scoring right now with seven for UB. But he is. He's, he's a passer first and a shooter second. And that's what you want in your point guard. He, he thinks, distribute the basketball, get my teammates involved. But then if I'm open, I'll, I'll take the shot if it's there. Watt out for Smiley. Hits it for three. That's his specialty, but Smiley, if he can hit his first couple of shots in the game, it's usually a, a good day or night for him, and he's hit a couple so far. Norman Simmons from the outside, inside to Samity, got checked by Betts, and they'll dish it out for Smiley. Smiley, up, off the glass, and in for two. Smiley gets his 10th point of the game. It's defense creating offense. That's a big part of what Reggie Witherspoon does here. And you saw the, the turnover at one end. Good help defense on Samity in the paint. And turned the ball over and led to the break for the Bulls. Samity checked by Watt and a foul called against the sophomore. 
here in the Ralph Wilson Stadium Fieldhouse. I'm joined by number one pick for the Buffalo Bills, C.J. Spiller. C.J., thanks for taking the time out. Thank you for having me. I know you've had a busy day. It's been a whirlwind since yesterday, I'm sure. Take us through from the time you were drafted till, till now. It seems like you have a good sense of humor as well, watching <laughs> the press conferences and everything. Take me back to the subway incident where they created a statue of, without a pepperoni. Oh, that was funny. You know, uh, I told them they would have probably had the smile. It probably would have been exact. Moving into this offense, you have a whole new system, new coaches, new general managers. How do you look forward to this season? In your press conference, you said, I know who I am as a player. Who are you as a player? Uh, I'm a guy that's going to go out there and give everything I have. Well, CJ, congratulations. Welcome to Buffalo. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Jim, back to you. CJ Spiller, the number one draft pick for the Buffalo Bills in this year's draft.